for the sign of Pisces, hello and welcome to my channels. So, Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person. We got the Page of Swords, and it's with the Ace of Wands. Now, the Page of Swords, it can indicate, well, it can stand for an actual person in your life. It will represent someone who could be younger than you. Because when you hear the word page in the tarot, that means a student, that means youth, it could mean immaturity. So just know that it does also indicate that there is a message coming in. Now, in this instance, because it's a page, and because he has a huge sword in his hand, it's probably not what you're hoping to hear. The page of swords tells us that this person could be trying too hard, pushing too fast. It could feel like they're stepping on your toes. So you might need to study their body language and consider how well you do or do not accept criticism from others. Yeah, the page of swords has a great deal of mental and physical energy. And they don't, they don't always use it wisely. Now, it's with the Ace of Wands, which is an indicator of new beginnings, very positive ones. The wands are in the realm of accomplishments and could be related to work or career, family, or romance. And if you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are about to get better very soon. Because... If you look at the picture of the Ace of Wands, it's the card below the word pass. It looks like the wand is just sitting above the clouds, but no, it's burst powerfully above the clouds. So if you've been having a difficult time, just know that things are about to get better very soon. So this is a good thing, the Ace of Wands. You could start to feel very energetic, very positive, or you'll be feeling that way soon. It tells you that now is actually a good time to start something new. So the recent past energy between you and your person, Pisces, Page of Swords, clarified with this Ace of Wands. So what I'm getting is that you, you're dealing with, with someone or you were dealing with someone because it's a recent past energy. A lot of you are still with this person, but they're on the immature side. They are on the immature side and they could have reached out to you wanting a new beginning with you. This person has a lot of passion for you because the Ace of Wands can be about a lot of passion. So, yeah, they reached out to you. They probably called you a lot, text you a lot. They got a lot of passion for you. Pisces, they want a new beginning or maybe a fresh new start with you. But you, you find that this person is on the immature side they bring they might bring they might be the type that bring conflict a lot of conflict to the connection they could stalk you they could do a lot of watching you or they just keep tabs on you just a, a very annoying energy but like I said the passion is there maybe you got passion for them too could be this person they like you they want to be with you, Pisces. They want a fresh new start with you. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. King of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Now, the King of Pentacles actually speaks about tradition, authority, success with money. Now, when this card appears, it's actually a sign that now is really not the time to be a maverick. It's actually the time to follow the established way of doing things. Now, when this stands for an actual person in your life, it can refer to a very masculine type. 
This person could have dark hair, dark eyes. It could go either way, though. If it's referring to a man in your life, just know that this is one who you can believe in and trust absolutely. Absolutely. The King of Pentacles is, is a really, really good energy. Now, it's with the Nine of Pentacles, which is one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the tarot. This can mean that your financial worries, they're over for a while and that things are going to be better than you thought possible. So, enjoy this good energy. Share your wealth and happiness with others. So, coming up, like I said, your person, um, they'll be reaching out to you, if they haven't already, this page of swords, wanting a new beginning with you or a fresh new start. They got a lot of passion for you. They want success with you. Yeah, they want success with you. Like the King of Pentacles is about success. But because we got the Nine of Pentacles here, it looks like you, you're you looking for a good relationship. For a lot of you, you're looking for someone that's more stable. Someone that's... um that offers security could be financial security because you got a lot of money in this for the east two cards king of pentacles is um success and money matters nine of pentacles is your financial worries are over for a while so a lot of you you're looking for someone that's more financially secure Someone that's not afraid of um, commitment. They're stable. Because the King of Pentacles is, a, is actually a good father type. Really good father. They're career focused. So you're looking for someone more mature. And you could be the type that's wanting the best that life has to offer. Yeah. So, looking for some, you're looking for, I, I keep wanting to say you're looking for financial security, because you got two money cards here. So, a lot of you are looking for someone that's, that's bringing in the money, that's, could be, a, have a lot of focus towards the Benjamins. Yeah, all about the bank account. Yeah. So, you're looking for the finer things in life, Pisces, some of you. So, this page just doesn't do it for you. Now, we move on over. We take a look and see what the challenge is. Well, we got the Six of Pentacles. Wow, more money. See, somebody, this reading is, is towards, kind of focused towards someone who's all about the Benjamins. Or... For the most part, money focus, which is not bad. We all need security. Nobody wants to be broke. But anyway, so the challenge is Six of Pentacles, and it's clarified with the Six of Cups. Now, the Six of Pentacles, it can show uh, it's a sign of a turn for the better, especially when it comes to money. One of the more positive pinnacles, it speaks of equality, fairness, the nature of life. So when this card appears, you're heading into a positive cycle. Six of Pentacles can be a card about generosity. It could mean that you're about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So share what you have because there's always someone who needs it. Now, it's with the Six of Cups, which can be a card about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always. Connected with children or childhood. So, it's going to be important for you not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days, because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can actually become a self-fulfilling prophecy. 
So the challenge, Six of Pentacles with Six of Cups. So like I said, you're looking for much more in life. The, the page of the page of swords just doesn't do it for you, but they want a new beginning with you. This person, they probably have been in contact with you. If they haven't, they'll be reaching out to you, trying to get something started. You're looking for the finer things in life. And the challenge is that you could be thinking about someone that you had a lot of happy memories with. Someone who you felt really comfortable with. You felt like this person was someone that you'd known all your life. So you, you got someone on your mind, Pisces. Someone that you, you've known before. I don't want to say that word because a lot of you get mad at me when I say the word someone from the past. So I'm not saying it. I'm just going to say it's someone that you you know already. You got them on, their, on your mind. Yes, you do. You had a lot of happy memories with this person. So you might reach out to them or maybe they're reaching out to you because with the Six of Pentacles, it's showing that... Uh, Someone's coming around and they'll be really generous. They'll be, they'll start to do nice things for you, buy you gifts, take you out, treat you really good, do a lot of things for you. Somebody that you used to know. I'm not saying that word, but yeah. That's your challenge. Now we're moving over. We take a look and see what the outcome is. So, we got the Eight of Cups, and it's with the Moon card. Now, the Eight of Cups can mean that you'll choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you, whether it's a relationship, a job, a neighborhood, there could be some sadness involved, but the separation is usually in your best interest. You have to know that, new, that renewed good times, they lie ahead. And if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a situation, a job, or a living arrangement, trust yourself. Yeah, usually instead of this coming out of the blue or someone or something leaving you, it can mean that you will be the one who will make the choice. Just know that very often one door has to close behind before the next door in front of you can fully open. Now do the moon card. Well, the moon card, you could feel psychic, intuitive more than usual, so it's going to be important for you to trust your instincts, trust your impressions. Even if you're not sure of where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful for you to realize that when you get this card in a reading, it's possible that all is not what it seems. So if you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. So go with your gut instincts. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone, it could take longer than you would like for it to. So it's about trying to stay patient also. So like I said, uh, Pisces, you're reaching out to someone that you got a lot of happy memories with or they're reaching out to you. They're going to be very giving. Very giving. But for some reason, with the Eight of Cups here and the Moon card here for the outcome, you don't trust, you're not trusting this person, or you're not, you feel like they're holding back. Yeah, you feel like there's, there's something they're hiding, or something is hidden from you. You feel like they could be wearing a mask. You feel like you just don't know enough. You don't trust the connection, you don't trust... You just feel like you don't know enough. So it's showing that a lot of you are going to choose to walk away. You're going to leave it behind. So, yeah. They're going to be really nice, nice to you. Very giving. For a lot of you, it seems like you could be all about the 
the Benjamins the money. And that's what they, it looks like they, they'll be offering it to you. Not all of you are into, into that. A lot of you got your own money, but there's a lot of pinnacles here, so I had to say that. Yeah, so anyway, this person that you thought to bring back into your life, it looks like it doesn't really pan out the way that you'd hope it, hoped or wish it would. It just feels, it doesn't, something's not quite right, put it that way. So you don't trust it, and you walk away. So that is the reading that I have for you, Pisces. I hope I wasn't saying Capricorn, but this is a Pisces reading. I just, I think I'm about to do Capricorn, where I already did Capricorn just a few minutes ago. So forgive me if I said that. This is a Pisces reading. So Pisces, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope this reading resonates. I hope you enjoy the reading. Just remember that uh, these readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you like to try one of those. So Pisces, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this. Stay strong, take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Pisces reading, which will be in about another four or five days, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Reading will.